A lot of investors have a tough time managing their portfolios. And the problem is not so much that their stocks are not performing well. The problem is much more basic. Most of the times, the reason is that they have multiple trading accounts and it is hard to see a consolidated view of all their holdings. On top of that, sometimes people forget their passwords or they get busy and just completely lose track of their portfolios. So let me make your life easier by giving a very simple yet elegant solution to this problem. Welcome to BRD Nation folks, a channel dedicated to Indian traders and investors. If you are here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. We are creating hundreds of in-depth videos on Indian stock market and our mission is to make you a better investor and a trader. Alright, let's get going. This is a sample portfolio that I have created in Google Sheets which shows me how my portfolio and specific stocks are performing in real time. I don't have to do anything. Just open this file anytime and it shows me the complete picture. It is fast, it's easy, it's elegant. So now I'm going to show you step by step how you can track your portfolio. The first thing you have to do is download the file from the link given in the description below. The link will get you here from where you can download this file. Once you have downloaded the file, go to file, make a copy to make your own personal copy. Now let's understand this file. There are two tabs here, one for portfolio as you can see and the other one is for symbols which I will explain in a minute. Let's start with the portfolios tab. The first column here is the account that is the account from which you bought the shares. For example, I have bought shares from three different accounts, Zerodha, Sher Khan and ICICI Direct. But if you only have one account then no issues, just put the same name in all the rows. Next is the company whose share you bought, the date on which you bought them, the number of shares and their buying price. For example, on 24th of October 2018, I bought 100 shares of Infosys at a price of 650 rupees. You just have to provide this much information. That's it. The rest is automatically calculated and updated by Google Sheets. As you can see, the profits and losses are clearly tracked here. Profits are automatically colored in green, losses are in red. And on the top here is the total value of the portfolio. The total cost, the current value of your portfolio and the profits and losses. So right now my portfolio shows that the stocks that I bought at 7.5 lakh rupees are currently valued at about 9.5 lakh rupees and I'm making a profit of 2 lakh rupees. The last column here is the holding days that shows you for how long you have been holding this stock. Now let's see how this information is automatically populated. And for that let's go to the symbols tab. Here you will see that there are three columns, stock, google symbol and the price. For example here the stock is Maruti, its google symbol is NSE colon Maruti. NSE basically refers to the stock exchange from which we are getting the price and then the current price of the stock. Now you only have to enter the first two columns, the third column will be automatically populated by google sheets. Let me take a couple of examples to show you how this works. Let's say I bought these two stocks, Escorts and ICICI Bank and I have to add them to this sheet. So for adding escorts, I first will have to find its Google symbol. For that, I will go to Google Finance, right here, google.com forward slash finance, and I will type in escorts. So this right here will give you the symbol that is NSC colon escorts. So I will come back to the sheet and I will type in escorts NSE colon escorts in tab and now what I have to do is just copy the price from the previous cell and paste it. Copy and paste. As you can see the latest price of escorts is copied into this cell. Now we go back to the portfolio and add the information about escorts. So we bought it from ICICI direct so we'll just write ICICI direct. The name here should match exactly the name that we gave in the stock column that is escorts. So the best thing is to just copy this and paste the date 1st of March, the number of shares let's say 100, the buying price let's say 750 and the next thing you have to do is very easy just select these cells from the previous row copy and paste. That's it as simple as that. Now from here onwards you open this sheet anytime and you can easily track escorts along with the other stocks in your portfolio. You don't have to do anything else. Now let's add one more stocks just to make sure that we clearly understand this. This time it is ICICI Bank. So we go back to Google Finance, we type in ICICI Bank 
and as we can see the symbol is nsc colon icici bank so we come back to the portfolio sheet go to the symbols type in icici bank the symbol will be nsc colon icici bank make sure that the symbol is exactly right because if we don't do that google will not be able to find the stock copy and paste as you can see so what i did was just i copied and i pasted right so now we will go back to the portfolio and this time let's make sure that this is right now this time we will make it uh, share khan icici bank 100 shares buying price of 300 and then what i have to do is just copy these cells right click copy and just paste that's it as you can see here the total profits and losses and the current values are automatically getting updated as well now there are a few important points you have to remember first if the stock splits or you get bonus shares you will have to make the corresponding adjustments if you don't know how to do that reach out to my team and they will help you out Second, which is very important is that don't delete any columns from this sheet because it can mess up the calculations behind it. And the third thing is that you always have to type the symbols correctly. A lot of times what people do is that they come here and then they just copy and when they are just trying to paste it back there, it creates a problem because you see this error, it comes as NA. And the reason people have this problem is that there is an extra space between the column and ICICI bank, that's the name. So what you have to do is you go and do a backspace and this time it will pick the right price. That's it guys. It's really easy. Just play around with it a couple of times and let us know if you have any questions. You can make this sheet even fancier by adding email alerts. So let's say you can define a rule that if a specific stock falls below let's say 10%, you should get an email alert. So if the stock does fall below 10% of your buying price, you will get an email alert. There is so much more you can do with this. If you guys are interested in finding out more, let us know in the comment section below and we'll make another video on that. Now you know how to track your portfolio, but do you know which stocks to buy? Do you know based on what factors you should be picking the stocks? And do you know what is the right time for entering into the stock market? We have made an entire series of videos on fundamental analysis, which will take you through step by step how to analyze the stocks and how to enter into the stock market. Do check them out as well. So I hope that you learned something new today. And if you found this video useful, do let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.